All right, we're gonna go live three, here we are, we're live. Haley Nathanson, hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? <laughs> good, thank you so much for taking the time to join me on the uh, Career Success Tips show and podcast. It's great to hey. reconnect with you. Um, we actually hadn't really talked in about, I don't know, almost a year um, yeah. because you graduated and you had interned with me last year um, and then COVID hit and things got crazy, but but yeah, I'm just, I'd love to get an update from you and see how things are going. Yeah, so um, I've just, after graduation, you know, I came back home to New Jersey. Um, I've been here, I kind of started my job search after I graduated. I got a job in December and I've been working here in New Jersey ever since. And yeah, just kind of, adjusting to the post-graduation life, you know, yeah. the real world hits, <laughs> but yeah. Good, oh, congrats, yeah. that's awesome. Tell me Thank about you. your, your job and well, what was your major first? Let's talk about that. Um, so I majored in fashion merchandising and design with um, minors in PR and business. So um, yeah, right now I'm working at The Real Real as a, vendor product receiver and I've been there for about like seven months so fantastic that's so great yeah. yeah and that's right within your major so that's great yeah it's perfect like it's a great company to work for and like get my foot in the door for sure so yeah, yeah. tell me a little bit tell us a little bit about real real in case uh, it's new to you yeah so um, the real real is the world's biggest online luxury consignment store so basically, um, it's just a one-stop shop. People will cons like, consign their items. So like you can buy designer, there's a thousands of brands that they sell on their website that you can buy designer items for a lower cost. They're usually pre-owned and um, yeah, some of them are new too. We work with wholesale people and vendors. So there's a bunch of different brands and products you can shop from on their website. That's so cool. Yeah. And so you, and what do you, what does your job entail? So I started out as a fashion product receiver and now I'm a vendor product receiver. So basically I work in the warehouse and I'm the first like stop in the pipeline. So basically people will turn in their consignments to us and I'll look in the database. I'll go through the things that they send in and then I inspect it for quality and, um, if it's a brand we take, if it's not, so it'll come to me first. I'll either accept the item or reject it based on those factors. And then it'll go down the pipeline to like authentication, photo, and then it gets put on the website. Wow. Okay. So that's different than like just putting something on Facebook Marketplace or something like that where, you know, there's a lot of vetting of the products, it sounds like. Yeah. And especially since they are like luxury items, like, there's a lot that goes into it. So you have to make sure like the products are real, but the real, real, <laughs> but, um, cause we don't want to obviously sell people will send it fakes all the time. So it's kind of our job to make sure that, cause you don't want people buying fake items. Cause that doesn't really, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. It really diminishes the brand overall, right? Like that's the whole yeah. point is it needs to be authentic. Awesome. So have you learned a lot more about fashion design in your job and your role? Yeah. So I've definitely learned a lot more about like some brands that I've never heard of because like I've only had experience like throughout college working with like a small boutique and things. It's definitely been cool to kind of open my eyes to all the different brands that are out there and kind of pinpointing different brand identifiers that go with certain brands. And it's definitely like, helped me out a lot with experience wise. So yeah. That's really exciting. And then tell me about, because when you interned for me, we didn't really get a chance. I feel like once we started getting going, then mm -hmm. everything went crazy a little bit. So um, with COVID, but I'm just mm -hmm. wondering, are there, um, you know, what, what you learned in your internships and what you learned at University of Rhode Island that oh. is moving you forward that you're finding helpful? Um, I think definitely like, a lot of my internships like that I did with you, especially like I've kind of focused on like digital marketing, things like that. So I think having a strong background in that has kind of helped me 
not only in this position, but other areas of my life where it's like, I do now have multiple areas of knowledge and can kind of like tie it in with fashion and non-fashion. Also, I think I have like a pretty strong sense on that. But yeah, overall, I feel like just kind of getting experience in different areas of the industry is helpful. So that's fantastic. Yeah. Are you finding that there's something in particular that you did when you were doing NIM events and NIM internships, uh, tasks that have, you know, have served you and maybe not particularly in this role, but in other roles in the future? Yeah, definitely. Um, the social media posts and like blog posts, things like that. I know we did a lot on WordPress and like doing things for the website. So just having a background doing all things kind of digital has definitely been helpful. Um, I would say that's probably the biggest part that I've like taken with me and kind of evolved with, so yeah. Nice, oh, that's awesome. And you said you've been doing some projects on the side. I'm just curious about those. Yeah, so um, I mean, on the side I run like, a, I'm a big foodie. So I like running a food account. I have a food Instagram where I post like things that I make and things that I try, especially I'll do like Trader Joe's finds and things like that. So um, it's been really cool to have like my own brands kind of on the sides where I can post about that certain little niche. That's fantastic. Yeah. And also that you, you know, obviously in your, in your real job, your real, real, real job, <laughs> um, you you know, they, they have specific things that they want you to do that may not necessarily overlap with your interests. I think that uh, this is this is a hypothesis. Let me know what you think. That when you're in college, you think, oh, I'm going to get a job and I'm going to do all the things that I want to do in that job. Mm -hmm. And do you think that that's accurate or what's your experience? Um, I think definitely like, especially with your first job, like you're not going to do all the things that you want to do. Like you kind of have to work your way up definitely. And you'll be thrown into things that you never thought you would be doing. Like if you had told me that I would be working in a warehouse, like I would have been like, really? But like, I've definitely learned a lot from the experiences that I've had so far. And um, I've definitely also gotten to do some things that I thought I would be doing. So it's kind of a mix, I would say, of like definitely like being thrown into new things, but also kind of being able to bring your skills to the table and definitely starting out like, in your career, it's it's a learning path, I feel like, but yeah. Oh, oh, I can't hear you. Ooh. Sorry, the oh. learning, <laughs> the learning doesn't end when you graduate. Is that a good yeah. thing or a bad thing? It's a good thing. And uh, you know, like it's definitely been good to like have new skills that I could potentially like, cause even though I say like, oh, I like marketing, I like digital marketing, like I could always try something new and then figure out that I like that better. So I think it's definitely important to keep learning and trying new things. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Um, and I'm just curious too, are there, what, where do you see yourself going next? Um, so next, right now I live in New Jersey and I'm working in New Jersey, but I'm also like a 30 minute train ride to the city and that obviously is a huge spot in the world for fashion. So I definitely see myself hopefully moving there like soon, trying to save up now and get over there and hopefully work in a role that gives me more responsibility and kind of guides me further along in my career path. And just kind of, that's where I see myself, I guess. Nice. So is it something that's more marketing and PR related or more design related? Tell me a little um, bit about where you see yourself in like a year or three years. I definitely see myself like definitely marketing related and social media marketing. And I'm also really interested in influencer marketing. Um, I could see myself in like a year or three years doing something in um, social media influencer marketing type of realm within fashion for like a fashion brand would be really cool. That would be super fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, have you had an opportunity to do much with influencer marketing or anything like that since? Um, I haven't um, necessarily had like hands on 
experience doing that, but it's definitely something that in the recent year I've kind of opened my possibilities to doing and like learning more about it and kind of just diving into that has been something that has definitely piqued my interest. Fantastic. No, that's so great. What are some tips that you would give to someone, you know, who either recently graduated or is still sort of looking for their career or, um, or maybe a rising senior? Yeah. So I think my biggest tip is to make sure you're networking. Like I know, like as soon as I graduated, even before I was on LinkedIn, making those connections with people kind of when it comes down to like finding jobs these days, it's all about connections. So I think if you're scared to reach out to somebody or like, even if it's somebody within like that went to your school and graduated five years ago, I remember when I was job searching a president of the company that I was um, interviewing for went to URI. So I reached out to him and I was like, hi, I saw you went to URI. Like I'm interested in this job that you guys posted like and then I had a phone call with him like things like that it's just like you never know unless you try so like even if you're scared to reach out to somebody because you don't directly know them like connections are everything and people are much more willing to connect with you than like you might think so that's definitely a big tip that I would say yeah and LinkedIn is really key with that are you doing anything outside of LinkedIn or you're pretty much sticking to it or were you? Um, I pretty much stick to LinkedIn there was um like i know the website i think it's business of fashion they post jobs so kind of whatever career path you're going and just check out the different resources for that i know there's a bunch of like fashion i think it's called like creatively like there's definitely linkedin is probably the biggest one but there's definitely smaller more niche websites that can kind of help you out as well that you may not know about so it's definitely good to research your um your um the word um yeah just the yeah. niche and the industry and are there specific sites or groups yeah. maybe that speak to that uh, particular genre i think that's a really that's a really good point that has not come up mm-hmm. i think linkedin yeah. uh is the go-to but that there may be some other uh communities that you could join that you could build connections that way too yeah, awesome definitely. yeah Oh, that's fantastic. What about, um, you shared some, some media, um, not just books, but you also shared podcasts. I'd love to hear more about why you chose those ones to share with us. Yeah. So one book that I, I actually listened to it, um, a while ago, probably like in the middle of the winter, it's Jen Atkins book. It's called blowing your way to the top. Um, she's the founder of way like the, um, hair care company. Um, it's just like, a really interesting book that I think definitely focuses more on like building your own brand and like entrepreneurship. But I think even if you're just like in the midst of a job search or anything, it's definitely like inspirational to hear her story about how she basically like built up her own brand and it's a super successful brand. And even if you're not looking to build your own brand, it's definitely like inspiring to hear like she definitely talks about it, like how she started at the bottom and like she hated her first job and like she felt like she was not worth anything, but then like it's all about working your way to the top essentially and like everything happens for a reason and kind of all of that. But so that's a really cool book that I would recommend to anybody, especially if you're interested in like beauty and fashion. But and then um, I definitely listen to a variety of podcasts. I listen to the influencer marketing talks which is kind of why I was saying like before that um, it's definitely something that I'm interested in, like influencer marketing. So they share a bunch of like insights and cool tips and tricks. So if influencer marketing is something that you work with or interested in, I think it'd be really cool podcasts for you to listen to. They're really short too. They're like 15 minutes. So it's like easy to listen and it's really informational. That's fantastic. That's so great. Um, and also that, yeah, I mean, there's thousands of podcasts out there and probably millions at this point, including this one, um, which is on iTunes and all the major, uh, but we also broadcast to Facebook live because it's easy. And, uh, although some of the setup as we found, it was a little bit of a challenge today, but that's technology. Um, could you give some advice about what happens or some tips on when things go wrong and how, how you handle that? I mean, things never go wrong at work, right? yeah right but um I think it's just like you gotta 
just realize that like things may not always go your way and like a lot of things with technology and things like that like it's easy to get frustrated and like be like oh but you just gotta work through it and kind of just take everything and <laughs> don't get too frustrated or overwhelmed or down on yourself when things don't exactly go your way and that's definitely like something to keep in mind in terms of like job searching and things like that things may not always go your way and everything will work itself out yeah, I think that's that's true. That patience, uh, patience and persistence are yeah. key. Um, what about people at work? Would you you know are you finding any mentors or maybe outside of work or any any allies? Any tips in that regard? Yeah. So um, right now I I switched roles a few months ago, so I'm kind of working on a smaller team now. So I've definitely found more like connections within the smaller team, obviously, because it is smaller. But I think like my manager now is a huge like mentor to me. He's very helpful. And like, definitely, like, I can tell that he cares for everybody on his team and generally wants to get to know them. So it's good to make like those connections with your work, like your coworkers, like on a professional level, but also like a little bit on a personal level, you obviously want to like get to know these people and kind of make good connections and friends even from it. So I would say like the people on my team now, I'm definitely like closer with than in my previous role just because of the size difference. But it's definitely nice working within a smaller team of people I've found. That's fantastic. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the flyby. We're in between school and, and camp this week. Uh, so <laughs> camp is next week though, thank God. That's okay. Um, yeah. What else, uh, any other tips that come to mind that you think would be helpful? Maybe might not be your experience, but maybe a friend or, um, you know, someone who maybe is struggling with finding their, what they are passionate about or finding, finding a position that they would like. Yeah. So I think it's just important to like, I know like everybody says this, but like in order for like you people to believe in you have to believe in yourself so I think it's important especially when you're looking for a job just to kind of like apply to the opportunities that you are like oh I'd never get that but like you never know so I think it's important like if you believe like that like oh like I'm gonna apply to this and like I'm gonna hear back like even if you don't going in with that mindset like it's always helpful to kind of um just be positive about things and make those connections like I said before and just really apply to anything because like I said, what I'm doing now is nothing that I thought I would be doing, but I like it. And so it's important to kind of step outside of your comfort zone and try new things, especially when like you just graduated, like you don't necessarily know what you want to do. You're so young and sure you have probably done things throughout school, like in internships that you think you want to do, but there's also probably a ton of other things that you have an experience that um, you, you could potentially end up liking better. So I think just having an open mind throughout the whole process is really important. I think that's great. That's really, really solid advice. Um, and I'm just curious, URI does require internships for all majors, right? Is that true? Or I think most schools um, do now. I think for most majors, I know for fashion merchandising in particular, I didn't need one, but in order for me to have the PR minor, I needed to have an internship. So I think it depends. Yeah. What about what you what the internship with me was like versus what you learned in your PR classes? I'm just curious, you know, for good and bad. No, all good things. It was really cool to kind of, when I was working with you, kind of get that I was learning about. Because, like, I would do projects in school for, like, I had a whole class like about social media um, and all of that stuff where we would basically like create fake like LinkedIn posts and Twitter posts and things like that. And like, so I did that in school, like for a grade, but then like when I interned with you, obviously I was doing that, but it was like not for a grade. So it was just like real, <laughs> but um, so it was definitely cool to kind of use that experience that I had learned about for you and be able to help you. and learn more from what you were giving me and it was definitely definitely important with my like learning experience so yeah and I think it's it's important to understand real work 
and deadlines and things like that, that there are real ramifications, at least for the internships that I offer. We're relying on you to uh, to post, to draft, to write things, and make sure that you know the videos get uploaded. And there's the systems and processes are they're very detailed, but there are a lot of important pieces to it that we yeah. you know we we know at the end whether or not you did it. Like we're not constantly checking to see oh did this get posted or what happened with this or that. Mm -hmm. it, you know, there's a lot of responsibility. Um, yeah. That, but I, I think it's probably good practice for, for when you land your career. No. No. Yeah. It definitely is good to like learn about like deadlines and how like important they are before just jumping into the real world. <laughs> but yeah. Awesome. Well, um, Haley, it's really great to catch up with you. I'm just wondering any other last tips that kind of come to mind that I didn't get a chance to ask you about. Just, you know, put yourself out there and keep on, keep it on. <laughs> awesome. But, yeah. yeah, well, and we're really excited to be taking the internship that you did and transforming that into a course so yes. that um, we can help more students land their careers in mm -hmm. marketing, PR, digital marketing, um, because there's so much opportunity there. And we have not only the course where you learn the fundamentals like you learned, but also get to apply those in some group projects. And then we line you up with a short-term internship while, while students are interviewing. So we're really super excited to be delivering all that. Um, yeah, and yeah, we're, we're just getting our next cohort going. And so if anybody's listening, uh, go yeah. on to ROINU.com and uh, see when the next cohort starts. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. All right, thanks Haley, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. It was great catching up with you. Okay. Bye. 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 Oops. <laughs>